Livin' Grand on Grand Lake is made possible in part by The Grand Lake Association is in its 60th year promoting the Grand Lake region in partnership with the Oklahoma Department of Tourism. Located in Grove, the Grand Lake Visitor Center welcomes people from around the country and provides information on where to stay, shop, eat, area services, and activities around Grand Lake. The GLA also sponsors the Pelican Festival in September with crafts, a parade, and a carnival the Grand Lake Boat and Sports Show in March, and the Grand Lake Extravaganza, the world's largest bass tagged event. More information is available at GrandLakeFun.com. And by... The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA's low-cost, reliable power touches 75 of 77 counties in Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes in the state including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the W.R. Hallway Reservoir. Today, GRDA's 500-member workforce continues to produce the same power for progress that has benefited the state for over 75 years. And by... You can experience the excitement. You can experience the fun. You can experience the freedom. Your adventure awaits. And by... There's no need to travel for quality health care. Integris Grove Hospital provides exceptional care close to home. From primary care to specialists like OBGYN, cardiology, orthopedics, urology, ophthalmology, and more. Integris Grove Hospital. Quality care close to home. And by viewers and members like you. Hi, I'm Christy Wallace. And I'm Tad Jones. Today we're going to tour Dreamcatcher Resorts and take a look at some of the antique shops around Grove. All that and more on Living Grand on Grand Lake. Well, Grand Lake is well known for sailing and fishing and water sports, but did you know we are also a wedding destination? Today we're going to take a tour of Dreamcatcher Resorts, where they're host to numerous weddings, reunions, retreats, but also just a great place for weekend lodging. So stay tuned and take a look at Dreamcatcher Point on Grand Lake. It's two beautiful homes that <clears throat> we do family reunions, weddings, a lot of weddings because of all the, the landscaping and everything. Brides just love it. May to September we have weddings here. Yeah, and that's usually the prime time for the weddings here. Well annually we accommodate maybe Right now, we probably have seven or eight weddings that we're going to accommodate this summer. Presently here at Dreamcatcher West, uh, where you see most of the flowers and the landscaping, we can accommodate groups up to wedding receptions. We've handled as many as 100, 110. But the accommodations can accommodate 30 to 40 people. Uh, as I said, there's two large lake houses here, and we try to make it like the lake house that you'd always like to have here on the lake. The 
other thing that we do is that we do a lot of family vacations, family reunions, corporate events, things of this nature. Dream, Dreamcatcher East will accommodate larger groups and larger events. Uh, it is also a beautiful lake home. Uh, a family can come down for a vacation or we can accommodate larger events or larger weddings if, if necessary. But it's a beautiful place to come and visit. Uh, come and see us and we'll accommodate you any way we can. Dreamcatcher Resorts is one of only many unique properties around Grand Lake. Stay tuned, we have so much more after this. I'm Jennifer Sterling, Program Manager for RSU Public TV. One of the things I love about being part of RSU TV is that it's much more than just a television station, really more like a family. Our viewers are committed to helping us bring the best possible programming to Northeastern Oklahoma. We've introduced a new way to become part of the RSU TV family, the Signal Society. It works like this. Pledge a recurring monthly gift of $10 a month or more right now, and you'll become a member. It's automatically deducted from your credit or debit card or bank account until you cancel. It's easy on the budget for people who want to help, and we'll be able to spend less time and money fundraising. As our special thanks to you when you join the Signal Society, you'll receive a beautiful RSU TV stadium blanket and etched coffee mug. It's so easy to join and help us keep all those great programs on the air. Just call 1-800-823-7210 or go online to rsu.tv. We appreciate your support. If you've been a member for a while, thank you so much. And if you're new, welcome to the family. We are here on the deck at Arrowhead Yacht Club and we have a very special guest with us today with an event that is a just a natural on Grand Lakes, been known about for years. We have Linda Goldner here to talk about Picture and Scripture Amphitheater and the man who ran. Linda, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Tad. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you for being here. And starting up again is Picture and Scriptures, the man who ran. Tell us a bit about the history of this wonderful event. We opened up in 1985, and so we've been going now. This will be our 27th season, and we started out with the story of Jonah, the man who ran, and it's complete with the 20-foot mechanical fish that comes up out of the water and swallows Jonah. And uh, we've done one other show, The Elijah Factor, but this year we're focusing on the story of Jonah, the man who ran. And that is a, such a great event, especially the kids to see as well, because Bill, your husband, plays in it. You've yes. had your family play in oh, this forever. Yes, right. All generations. I mean, now I've got grandkids. In fact, two of my grandkids work for me. And um, uh, even though grandkids that live out of town, they come in to be in the show. And so Bill, as playing Jonah, I mean, he's actually going in the water and he gets thrown he's swallowed overboard. by the whale. Yeah, and some people come just to see Bill thrown overboard and swallowed by that great fish. And we have a lot of fish stories about his encounters in that fish because sometimes, I mean, there's a lot of technical stuff that's going on and we communicate through uh, walkie-talkies and such. And sometimes we have forgotten to tell them, bring the fish up. And so Bill's down there struggling to get out of the water and had to bust out of the backside just to, to get to the surface. Well, it's a great event. And you've also got other things that go on as well as the, as the wonderful play. Yes, we do. We've been doing, last year we did a concert. We're going to do another concert uh, this September with Manic Drive. out of uh, They're out of Canada. But we also just finished an Oasis event barn. We have a lot of unique animals in the show. We have a camel and many horses and horses and alpacas and and um, we are now showcasing these to different groups and so we finished this great barn so people will be able to come visit the animals before the show it'll be just part of their whole evening experience that's great and you also have a dinner as well we serve uh, charbroiled hamburgers grilled chicken barbecue and catfish and so it's a whole wonderful evening under the Oklahoma stars all right so if people want to know how to get tickets and come to picture inscription amphitheater this year what do they need to do all they need to do is call nine 
718-435-8207 or get on the web and it's picture like a picture on the wall in inscripture.com and all the information is right there they can order all their tickets online or they can give us a call all right and what's the easiest way to get there if say you're coming from Tulsa uh, if just get on Will Rogers Turnpike 44 and you get off at the Adair exit and it's uh, 25 miles over and we're three and a half miles you come across the wonderful uh, dam uh, that holds all the water in the lake. It's a mile long and you'll come across that dam into Disney and we're another three and a half miles. All right, Linda, thanks so much for being here. It is a wonderful event for the entire family and bring your church groups as well to Picture and Scripture, Picture and Scripture Amphitheater and the man who ran. Christy? Thanks, Tad. I'm here with our next guest, Dr. Rick Miller and Dr. Leonard Miller. And Dr. Miller, besides making pretty smiles like you did mine, I know you have some other activities and you too helped start a local event called Thunder on Wolf Creek with hydroplane racing. So tell it, how, how did things get started, Dr. Miller? Well, my father started racing. We were from Venita and um, I uh, raced and, and then taught Rick how to, how to race. And now we have a grandson that's 17. Wow and he's racing so, so four, four generations. generations and these are the small boats with the engine and then when you see them on the water they are flying yes they'll reach speeds from between 60 miles an hour and almost 100 uh, they're on that wolf creek cove and it's, of course it's you're exciting. so close to the water i cannot imagine what that feels like you know they're almost like a go-kart uh on water and we sit on our knees and uh, it is quite exciting, and the sensation of speed is very good because you're so close to the water. Oh, I, you say very good. I say very scary, <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Miller. I cannot uh -huh. imagine that. Well, tell us about your event. It's coming up on June 21st and 22nd. It is. And actually, on the 20th, on Friday, there'll be time trials. Oh. And from about noon to 5, they'll be out there, and every racer is going to be there trying to find that last mile an hour, trying to pick up Just that trying speed. To pick it up exactly. A and uh, trying to make their boat handle well. And then on Saturday, we have opening ceremonies that start at noon, and the racing starts about 12.30. And Saturday's really our big day. It's our short course national championship. And uh, so everybody's gonna be dialing their boats in and getting ready. And then, uh, interestingly enough, at 5.15, the Boy Scouts are having a fundraiser and doing a cardboard boat race. Oh, how fun. And anybody can come enter. It's $5 to enter, uh, and then corporate is $20. And it'll be something kind of fun and a, a fundraiser oh, for the Boy great. Scouts. So if I make a cardboard boat, will you race it? I will. I will. <laughs> but uh, it should be good. And, and also at 5 o'clock, we're going to have a drawing for a big screen TV. Oh, great. So if and you how can, do you enter the drawing? If you can be there from 10 to 12, mm -hmm. then you can get a free ticket. Anytime after that, you'll have to pay for the ticket. Okay. okay. And, but you must be present to win at 5 right. o'clock. But you'll win a TV. Yes. So you can come on Friday and watch uh -huh. the practice sessions. Yes. Saturday where the events take place. Mm -hmm. And you can watch from water yes. or from land at Wolf Creek State yes. Park, right? Yes, it's, it's much better by land. Okay. We have to block the boats off a long ways because a pleasure boat wave will turn us over. Oh, and okay. uh, so and it's, it's one of the best places in the United States to watch racing because we run right close in that cove. So really you need so to really come from by the, land. from the yeah. land. Yeah, yeah, Christy, it's free to the public. So we had over 3,000 people there last year. Wow. We expect uh, 4,000 people. Uh, plenty of shade. We even have some uh, tents to uh, oh, for people. Great. You might want to bring an easy chair. Bring a lawn chair. Yeah. 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 And there'll be refreshments on site, right? There is. We've so got a there? couple of vendors and, uh, that have concessions. That's so great. There will be. All right, how do our uh, viewers get more information? You know, we'll be having information in the newspapers, okay. and also we have a Facebook page right. called Thunder on uh, Wolf Creek. Thunder on Wolf Creek. Uh, yes, and uh, you can go to that and like it, and you'll we'll be continually updating in this okay. next month well, here. We'll check you out on Facebook. Thank you for joining us today. Load up the family and head on down to the Pontoon Rally in Ketchum Cove. More than 500 boats are expected to be there with a live band performing on the water and VIP pizza delivering directly to your boat. There will also be a dance contest on the water with prizes. Land lovers will be able to enjoy the rally with views from Sharky's Bar beginning at 9 p.m. where you'll enjoy the live band, cold beverages, and pizza. Revving it up on Route 66 in Miami will be June 21st and will consist of a car show and cruise down Route 66. Awards will be giving out to the top cars and the Coleman Theater will host two free showings of a car action movie. That evening, Wayland Cuckoo Burgers will hold their monthly car get-together. The Peoria Pow Wow in Miami will be held June 20th through June 22nd. The event features a wide range of contest dancing, stomp dances, and singing. Booths will also be set up with craft vendors, including American Indian Arts. The stomp grounds are located on the north side of East 90 Road in Miami. Admission is free and concessions will be available. 
The show will continue, but first, here's some fun in the sun. Living grand on Grand Lake. Yeah. No, 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 get out of my shot. Good night. This is my, this is my moment. Come on down to Grand Lake, y'all. I'm RSU TV's General Manager, Royal Ailes. Now everyone complains that there's nothing to watch any longer on television but I say there is. RSU TV brings you a unique look at our world every day from great chefs taking you on a tour of the world with their fantastic food. How to turn your home into your favorite restaurant. To old time praise songs with classic gospel hosted by Bill Gaither. RSU TV is delivering the best in programming on television and you can be a part of this. Become a member of RSU TV Signal Society. Your reoccurring gift of $10 a month will help RSU TV continue to bring great programs into your home. All you have to do is call 1-800-823-7210 or go online to rsu.tv and click the donate button. And when you do, we'll ask you for your credit card or check card number and every month $10 will be automatically deducted from your account. This is the most important thing we can do to assure that there is a tomorrow for RSU TV. And when you become a Signal Society member, we'll give you this beautiful fleece blanket and this wonderful coffee mug, both with our logo on the side. As General Manager of RSU TV, I want to thank you for your continued support of this station, the programming we offer, and the changes we're making as we become engaged in our communities. There's so much to do around Grand Lake, and we have some great shops right here in the area. So we're going to take a quick look at a few of the antique shops and specialty shops right here on Grand Lake. After five years being in the old downtown area, it was possible for me to purchase this building. So we purchased this and redo it for each of the four seasons of the year. Antique Alley is a true antique store. We have no vendors or booths. Um, we control everything that comes into the store and we try and keep along antique lines. Then uh, before Memorial Day, we change over to the Americana in one room and set up for that season. Um, Fourth of July is a huge season around the lake. There's always fireworks. Um, like I say, we have everything. We have ephemera, which is paper goods. We have 2,000 odd volume library, old books, old magazines, um, old love letters. We have furniture, we have dishes, as you can see. And then after that season, we'll change over to um, fall and um, change the whole house to fall, basically. And then in the 1st of October, we close every Monday and change one room at a time. We 
always have new stuff coming in. This area for antiquing, uh, you usually think of older people for antiquing, but it has become such a huge thing to buy an antique and paint it and distress it that it is actually a younger crowd. I just had a lady in this morning, uh, came back to show me the king size headboard that she made out of two matching doors that she bought two weeks ago from me. can take just the basic item, paint it, distress it, and it is huge, you know, a huge idea. The color changes each year from white to turquoise are really big. So, you know, you typically think of an older person for antiquing, but it isn't in this area. And I think countrywide, it is uh, younger people that are buying antiques because they can personalize them to their taste. I call it my architectural salvage room. All the girls that do Pinterest go, that's my Pinterest room. Yeah, antiquing is an art, and it's also, you know, uh, just a, a pastime hobby. It, you know, it's, it's a big entity. There is so much great shopping right here on Grand Lake, so bring your family and come on up and buy some great gifts. So much more coming up in just a moment. Today I want to talk about the importance of knowing our waters and safely navigating the lakes. One of the first things we need is the proper depth finder on our boat. By using the depth finder, we can find when the water is going to get shallow, or become hazardous and navigate around those. The next thing we need to do is to buy the proper maps for the lake that we're on or the waterways that we're using. Here's an example of the Grand Chart book. It shows a lot of history of the lake, the hazardous areas, and many things that we can learn about the waterways that we're on. Another example, this one's designed for fishing and it shows the contours, but yet shows the hazards and many things about the lake that we can use. Another tip, is using locators such as Lawrence or Hummingbird, Garmin, some of the locators that are out there that actually have GPS and can navigate the waters for us, show us safe ways to navigate the lake. All these things can be found at your local convenience stores, sporting goods stores, and even Walmart. So learn our lakes and be safe. Well, Tad, we had a great show today. Absolutely, and some wonderful places to go shopping where I know you're ready to spend some money. Oh, Tad, I've been shopping there for years. I love Victorian Axe's Antique Alley. Such unique items you can find there. And, of course, now we know more about Dreamcatcher Resorts, so we've got our week cut out for us. That's right, a beautiful place down at Dreamcatcher. So Excellent. we hope you'll come and join us next week on Living Grand on Grand Lake. Living Grand on Grand Lake is made possible in part by the Grand Lake Association is in its 60th year promoting the Grand Lake region in partnership with the Oklahoma Department of Tourism. Located in Grove, the Grand Lake Visitor Center welcomes people from around the country and provides information on where to stay, shop, eat, area services, and activities around Grand Lake. The GLA also sponsors the Pelican Festival in September with crafts, a parade, and a carnival. 
the Grand Lake Boat and Sports Show in March, and the Grand Lake Extravaganza, the world's largest bass tagged event. More information is available at GrandLakeFun.com. And by the Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA's low-cost, reliable power touches 75 of 77 counties in Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes in the state, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the W.R. Hallway Reservoir. Today, GRDA's 500-member workforce continues to produce the same power for progress that has benefited the state for over 75 years. And by... You can experience the excitement. You can experience the fun. You can experience the freedom. Your adventure awaits. And by... There's no need to travel for quality health care. Integris Grove Hospital provides exceptional care close to home. From primary care to specialists like OBGYN, cardiology, orthopedics, urology, ophthalmology, and more. Integris Grove Hospital. Quality care close to home. And by viewers and members like you.